Hey, hi there. What's up? <laughs> this is Jose Trujillo, the world's greatest sleeping artist. I'm here. I'm packaging some work. I'm writing some certificates of authenticity. Uh, it's, it's, it's a good morning so far. Just wanted to pop in here and say hi. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are doing good. Hope you guys are kicking some butt this morning. What's up? What's up, Yash? What's up, Yash? Um, yeah, just packaging some work, look. Which, by the way, I am uh, going to be preparing a video workshop for packaging artwork for you guys. Those of you who are in my, in my monthly subscription uh, are going to be seeing a video very, very shortly, very soon on how to package artwork the way that I do so that so that you're able to to package your own artwork uh, in a secure in a safe in a secure way so that your work gets there uh, secure and on time yeah. so that's that here let me let me remove some of this stuff because I don't I don't want uh, addresses to be shown out of respect for my collectors, can't show addresses and stuff. Uh, so yeah. Ow. Everything's fun in games until the serrated teeth start nipping at you. Um, yeah, guys, there's there's been a lot of uh, fun in my studio lately. Been working on some shipping. And like I said, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be sharing some some shipping videos for you guys. Um, this is not for everybody. This is not this is not uh, these are not videos that are that are on YouTube. Unfortunately, I I'm not I'm not uh, these are not gonna be for YouTube. This is these are gonna be for the subscription uh, platform. So if you're not subscribed, you're not gonna be able to see these videos. Which are really dope, by the way. And so you're going to be missing out. So you better subscribe. Subscribe! <laughs> so you better subscribe. Subscribe now! Um, yeah. I, I do share a lot of stuff on YouTube. You can go check it out. I, I share a lot of stuff. I share a lot of stuff here. Uh, but I have thousands. I Not thousands, I, but I have over a thousand videos on YouTube. That you can go check out until your eyes start bleeding. You can start seeing all my videos. Uh, anywhere from painting to marketing to packaging artwork and all that stuff. The problem about YouTube is that all the information is not there. They're not really workshops. They're more like little demos of what I'm doing. Sort of like what I'm doing right now. I'd be showing you. But I, would, I wouldn't be walking you through it uh, on YouTube. I don't really walk you through every single step and show you every detail. Uh, that that I save it for workshops. And so, if you want to learn how to package your artwork, um, how to build boxes for your artwork, some of you out there are, are are like, man, I can't ship artwork because I don't have any boxes, and the boxes for art are very expensive. If you haven't noticed, in case you haven't noticed, if you want to ship out paintings. It's very expensive. It's very expensive to ship to 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 buy a box, a pre-made box for a painting. So, uh, unless you're selling your paintings for for uh, for quite some money, it's very expensive. Let me get a, a couple of boxes here that I need. So, uh, unless you're doing that, it's very expensive. So, so how do you alleviate that? Well, I create my own boxes. I make my own boxes, uh, not for everything. You know, not for everything, but for many of my, my, my paintings, I do create my own boxes. How's it going, Vivek? Good to see you here. Good to see you, Vivek. And so, that's, that's how I do it. For those of you who want to learn, I will be creating a video, again, a video, a video workshop, a complete video workshop on how to package your artwork. Okay? How to package it and, and uh, package it correctly so that it arrives safe. And, and shipping. So we're going to be covering shipping, packaging. We're going to be covering uh, should you put insurance on your pieces, and if so, what are what are the the mechanics? What are the details of that? We're going to be talking about all of that in our packaging, um, 
art packaging workshop. This is going to be part of the monthly subscription. So if you're already subscribed, you don't have to pay anything for this workshop. It's going to be added to your subscription. Uh, if you are if you are not subscribed, this is going to be easily at least a $100 workshop, okay? This is not gonna be a $49 workshop because I'm gonna include a lot of stuff. This is not gonna be one of those $39.99 or $49 workshops. Uh, this, this information is very valuable because it took my wife and I a long time, a lot of trial and error to figure out how to package artwork and how to do it in a way that, that you're actually winning at it. You have to learn how to do it so that you're not losing and you're not losing money either. Not just losing paintings, but losing money either. So you have to know how to do it. Um, how to uh, how to how to put that together when you're when you're selling your artwork. If you're going to include free shipping or you're going to charge the shipping, how to include it in your in your listing, how to price for that. And so Man, we have, we have a world of knowledge we're gonna be sharing. We're just getting started. So those of you who have seen my videos, don't get discouraged because I only have about 13 workshops uploaded right now. We're going to be uploading a lot more. They're coming, they're coming, so hang on there. And those of you who haven't, you're missing out from uh, nearly a thousand bucks of info. Uh, have I lost paintings before? So of course I have, of course. I've lost, I've lost artwork, I've lost Check this out. I lost the artwork, okay? And I have to I had to pay back the customer, of course. And I had to cover shipping. So you lose the artwork, you lose the shipping, and, 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 and you lose the, 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 the whatever you got paid. And so that does happen. It does happen. So so we have we've developed my wife and I have developed a system a system where where uh, we teach you how to how to prevent those pitfalls, you know? How to, how to keep your eyes peeled so that you know what you're doing. There's lots of people that are packaging and shipping artwork out there, don't know what they're doing. And so if you are lost or if you're like maybe second guessing, should I be, how do I package my work? Uh, even building a box, even building a box for your artwork. Uh, it is very, very simple. We have a couple of free, videos on YouTube on building boxes and whatnot, but we don't go into into depth. We don't go into into the deep on how to do this because they're not they're not really workshops. They're just they're just like little demos where we're showing what we're doing. Where do I sign up? I'll send you a link to that. This is a this is a uh, if you want just the workshop, okay? If you just want the workshop, that's it's I have my, my workshops are a la carte or are combined. If you just want the workshop, that's gonna be a fee. But if you want all of the workshops and the workshops that are coming in the future, all of the workshops, not just the ones I have, but all the ones I'm gonna be throwing into that platform, it's just gonna be a $20 a month fee. And you're gonna be learning everything about how I run my business. Uh, from, from painting, from drawing, composition, color theory, and all that stuff, to how I run the mechanics of the business. How do I make listings? How do I, how do you make listings? This is a workshop that is coming up also. How do you make listings so that you actually sell stuff? How do you do that on Etsy, on eBay, on Sachi Art, on, on Cherish, on eBay? How do you create this? Well, on eBay, they make the listings. I apologize for that. But on all the other platforms, how do you make the listings so that, so that you're actually, you have a higher probability of selling your artwork? Most artists don't know this, guys. And I'm not saying this to be, to be a, 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 like, like, I don't know, to like be pompous. Like, oh, most artists don't know this. No, most artists don't know this because no one taught us. No one taught us how to do this. I had to figure this shit out on my own. Trial and error. Constantly losing paintings. Constantly losing money. This, this, didn't ha this knowledge didn't happen uh, out of nowhere. It started happening because I was losing and I needed to win. So what do you think of Artsy? Artsy is an amazing place. If you can get in there, that's awesome. Uh, Artsy is an amazing place. I got my work on 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 so many different places because I I, I work with different people. We're gonna be uh, having some work there on Artsy. I have work on live auctioneers. I have work all over the place, guys. And this happened because of the consistent and persistent uh, role as an artist of creating artwork 
and shipping. Like, like, what was that dude's name? Um, not Jeff Bezos, because I don't like that dude. What, what's the other dude's name? I didn't even like him either, but, but, but he had a good quote. The Apple guy. Who's the Apple guy? What's his name? What's that? Steve Jobs. He said, real artist ship, right? Real artist ship. Real artists don't just create artwork. I'm, I'm talking about career artists, okay? I'm not talking about if, if, if you're an artist. Of course you're an artist. But if you're a career artist, if that's how you're making your living, you have to ship. And if you don't know how to ship, man, you're running into some trouble. You're running into some serious, some serious caca if you don't know how to ship. You need to learn how to ship. You need to learn how to package your work and ship it. Thank you. Yeah, it was Josh. And so... My wife and I created a system for creating boxes for our artwork. How to package them, how to bubble wrap them correctly. Uh, I have bubble wrap here. I, I buy this stuff in like huge rolls. I have, I have tons of them. I have like 10 rolls over there. Uh, how do you package it correctly so that, your, so that your work gets there safe? The most important thing is that your work needs to get there on time and safe. And more important than on time, safe. Safe is always more important than on time. On time, it, it, it varies, especially right now, when, when due to the Rona, uh, things, things are not getting there as quick as always, as they used to. And so people are being, people understand, people are being a little bit more, more understanding right now. But, but it needs to get there safe. I, I'd rather take a little extra time with the painting, keep it a little extra time, but make sure that the painting is going to arrive safe. How do you make this pizza, this pizza boxes, man? This pizza boxes, it's not a pizza box, but that's how you make them. How do you make them in order to ship some of the artwork? Now, by the way, how do you ship multiple paintings at the same time? That's, a, that's another problem. That's a real problem right there. You, someone buys uh, five, six paintings from you and they wanna save on shipping. They wanna save on shipping. How do you do that? How do you make sure that you package all those paintings in, in, in a single box or in two boxes? It doesn't matter. But how do you box multiple paintings in a box so that they arrive safe? Not just how do you box them. Anyone can do that. Anyone. You, you've moved before, right? When we move, we box paintings. We put them in a car. We put them in a, in a cardboard box or whatever. But when you're shipping, it's a whole different game. How do you, how do you box uh, glass? Artwork behind glass. Should you, be, should you be shipping glass? And if so, how? All those, all those, all those things are, we're going to be covering in our packaging and shipping artwork uh, course. This is for, for, for professional artists who want to learn how to do this deal. If you don't know how to do this deal, I promise you, I promise you, you're missing, you're missing big time. Man, I gotta keep this, I gotta keep this blade, uh, um, I gotta keep this blade new. I'm gonna switch it and see if, Maybe this side works, because then I have to change my blade. At what size do you think it's best to send canvas roll? Canvas roll is a, is a, is a tricky thing, and I'm going to tell you why. Um, canvas roll is a tricky thing because, because it has a lot to do with how wide it is, not just how long. And so it depends. If your painting is very large, I don't know, uh, is, it, is it bigger than 48 inches, than four feet? Um, the, the biggest, as soon as it hits 50 inches on anything, whether it's canvas rolled or especially if it's a box. If it's a box, as soon as you hit 50 inches, you're over $300 in shipping already. As soon as it hits 50 inches. And so, again, we're going to be doing a... I gotta change that blade, man, because I hate this blade. It's not working, so I keep, I keep extra blades. Always extra blades. As soon as they come down, come down, extra blade. <whistles> Disposing of those blades. Um, gotta do it very careful. So, I have a little, I have a little tin here that I send out to the to the metal, the people that sell the metal and all that. And so, how do you do it? How do you do all of that? Most, again, most people don't know how to do any of that stuff. 
and, and if we do it, we, we, we're afraid of it because, because we've been bit before. We've been, we've been hurt before, you know? I remember my first, my very first large painting that I shipped out. Man, that was, that was a, that was a lesson. That was a life lesson. When I, when I first shipped a, a, a painting that I didn't know how to go freight. For those of you who paint large, uh, I didn't know the painting had to go freight. I didn't know it had to be crated. Okay, I didn't know it had to be crated either. Uh, and so I made this big sale. I was like, oh my God, this is the best sale ever. I made a, I think it was like 7,000 bucks for the painting. It was around there. And I was like, this is so awesome. It was my first large painting that I, that I had to ship out. It was seven, 7K. seven uh, and, and I had to crate it. I didn't know that. I put it in a cardboard and, and, and when I took it, then people were like, no, 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 dude, this is different. You're not just gonna put it in a cardboard or if you're gonna put it in a cardboard, this is the proper way of doing it. But the best way of doing it is crating it. But crating it, it's a carpenter's job. It's not your job unless you know carpentry. And so I'm gonna be teaching also crating, but crating is a whole other, I mean, shipping freight is a whole other thing. So this, we're gonna be teaching you how to package and ship paintings that are not so large. Um, Skate Chibo said, uh, how much is it to send a canvas roll in a tube? It's not that expensive. If you're looking at something like this size, you're probably talking about maybe about 15, 17 bucks, probably to ship somewhere around there. Uh, but when you're shipping multiples, guys, you have to start thinking about all, all the things that are involved in there, you know? Uh, Shipping materials, tape, all of that, it starts adding up when you ship multiples. When you ship once, you don't want to do it ever again, okay? When you ship paintings once, you never want to do it again because you have to go buy that for the first time. A roll, this, tape, all that stuff. You have to go buy it, right, the first time. And so, hey, what's up? How's it going, Jay? So you have to, sh you have to buy all of that. But if you, ship, if you ship multiples, if you ship multiples, the the materials and the cost of shipping gets very high i mean we we we, we in, well my studio we ship a lot of artwork so just to give you an idea i ship out i spend in shipping probably what i used to earn uh probably more than that uh last time i checked the numbers what i used to earn in a year making a living i spend that on just on shipping i'm not about shipping materials just on shipping cost and so, so shipping is a big deal, especially if you're gonna do it as a, as a full-time artist. And so people go into it thinking, oh man, this is easy, this is, no, it's, there's a, again, there's a method to the madness. Uh, another thing is that I'm, I'm packaging right now, my wife is, my wife is doing her beautiful hair. Um, so I'm packaging right now, but I have two people helping me package uh, prior to COVID. But, you know, I didn't want to expose anyone. I didn't want to expose my family or expose them. So, so we had to quarantine. And so now shipping is down to my wife and I. I'm, I had to work extra hours in order to package and ship. And so that, what does that mean? That my, my days are longer, right? My days are longer than what they used to be because now I don't have the help in my studio. Uh, it also means that, that I'm taking a little longer to ship the stuff because I, I, I used to have people helping me. And so the only person helping me right now is my wife, and, and bless bless her heart. I mean, we're we're working overtime to to, and and it's fine. I'm not complaining. It's just part of it. But I'm just trying to tell you, uh, this is what you're going to encounter if you're an artist, a full time artist. Uh, yeah, small and large works. What we're gonna do? We're gonna do small and large works, but large works up to the size that we can ship easily. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna create something else later on. For, for shipping freight, because shipping freight is a whole other game. Uh, how, to create, how to create artwork and ship very large works when you're doing gallery exhibits or when you're shipping to someone with very deep pockets uh, that bought something very large from you. Uh, because as I was mentioning right now, uh, when you ship, when, when you put something, when you're gonna ship something beyond, beyond, um, my wife is the one who's, who's, who's a ninja at this. When you're, when you're putting something beyond 50 inches, uh, the price goes significantly high. All of a sudden you're spending $300 just to ship one painting. So when people tell me I wanna buy that painting for $1,000, right? I'm like, oh, awesome. Uh, can you send it to me for free, like free shipping? 
and the painting is I don't know the painting is 50 inches or whatever I don't have a thousand dollars 50 inches but anyways uh, let's say that that I did sell it for a thousand bucks because many of you out there sell it for a thousand bucks something around 48 inches when you bubble wrap it and when you package it it becomes 50 inches okay when it's four feet it becomes 50 inches as soon as it hits 50 inches uh, if, you're, if you're shipping with anyone like uh, FedEx or or UPS you're going to start spending a pretty penny on it and so and so there went already if, if you're doing free shipping on that because some of you see that I do free shipping and they're like dude I gotta do free shipping I know how to do free shipping guys if you're starting out you got to be very careful you're gonna do free shipping you have to pay attention uh, you have to learn where if not I mean you're gonna have to make the mistakes that I made in the beginning the reason why I do free shipping in some of my work it's because I understand the numbers of it now I've done it so long I've done it for a decade guys I've done it for a decade so I understand the numbers where where shipping falls but uh but uh but if you don't know all of a sudden you buy into you start breaking into your into your into your uh into your income you know you start you start breaking into your earnings all of a sudden the painting costs one thousand dollars right let's say that you sold it on a platform where they charge 30 percent to sell it so you're already you're already seven hundred dollars from your from your thousand bucks and now it costs you it costs you 300 this has happened to me by the way and now it costs you 300 dollars to ship assuming assume that's just shipping assuming that you're going to you have someone else to work on it but you're paying but if you don't have someone else to work on it to package it and ship it you're doing it yourself so you're going to cut from your painting hours to do that and when you're not proficient at it it's going to take you at least a couple of hours i mean more than that but at least two hours of your time at least two hours of your time to package it and ship it and, and put it together make the label and all of that and so you're talking about 700 okay it, it was a thousand bucks you give you give three hundred dollars to cherish or whoever's selling your painting whoever's sell, helping you sell your painting the gallery whoever you know and now you're down to 700 bucks and now you have your 700 bucks but it costs you 300 dollars to ship that 50 50 inch painting 50 inch uh box and so so now you just lost 300 dollars out of that 700 bucks what, what what are you with 400 bucks right you have 400 bucks with that 400 bucks you have to make sure that you understand that that has become your profit now assuming that you have all the shipping materials and everything and you didn't go buy extra shipping extra shipping materials or anything so out of your thousand dollar painting you actually ended up with 400 dollars even less because now from that four hundred dollars you know you have to pay the tax man you know uncle sam's gonna be like where's my part dude where's my share and and if, if you want to have a happy life in the u.s you got to pay the tax man you know you got to take care of uncle sam and so so you got to think about all those things all those things are important and that's why we're creating a shipping workshop packaging and shipping workshop for small works small and medium-sized works and uh because that's the most that's the most uh it's what people do the most online check it out boom this is a 16 by 20 by the way someone asked a question let me see i think i have a couple of questions do you ever do free shipping i do do free shipping uh i do free shipping but like i said i understand my numbers and i know where to put them uh i'm currently building all my boxes take a ton of time it takes a ton of time yeah i'm, I'm doing boxes right now uh, I just want to know best source for small works, pre-built boxes. It takes me about 45 minutes to build a custom box. Oh no, you don't want to do that. I'll, 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 I'll send that out to you, Jay. I'm going to send that out to you because because you're part of my, you're part of my, you're part of my classes. Anyone who wants to know that it's part of my classes, I'm going to be sending you some info. Guys, all you got to do is just, just DM me and, and, and I'll take care of you. Uh, they look great, but man, it takes time. Yeah. It's a lot it's a lot of consuming it consumes a lot of time this is why i love small works absolutely rachel uh vivek says packing uh packing a new order now perfect topic awesome so uh is this uh is that workshop going to be on the membership site yes absolutely it will be on the membership site uh, any new workshop that i do you guys are going to get it automatically on the on the on the membership site okay from from here on until otherwise changed any new workshop 
any new workshop that I'm doing is going to automatically go into the into the membership site because uh, that's what you signed up for. You signed up to get all my all my good stuff. And if you're not in the membership site, by the way, I just want to tell you, I, I want to tell you right now, that workshop is going to be a hundred bucks. Okay, I'm not I'm not going to sell it for for forty nine dollars. Just to let you know, uh, that's that info cost us years and lots lots of losses to learn, and I'm not, I'm not going to give it away uh, just because like I'm going to charge for it, and I think I think a hundred bucks is more than fair. Uh, it's actually not just more than fair. I think I'm I'm lowballing myself, but whatever. Um, because it's info that other artists out there, other artists out there are gonna tell you little stuff like, here's how you make a, a paint. Pe Look guys, I've sold thousands of paintings, okay? I, I literally, I know this. Go watch my eBay and, and, and watch. I've sold over 10,000, I have over 10,000 reviews. Those are reviews, guys. That's not what I've sold. Those are reviews, 10,000, re over 10,000 reviews. Okay, I just wanna be clear with you guys. Those are reviews. That's not what I've sold. I've sold easily over thirty thousand artworks. I don't. I don't. I don't think I know someone else who sold more artwork than me. Original art, okay. Original. I'm not talking about prints and shit like that. Uh, prints and, and and whatever. I'm sure other people sell more, but original work where you have to package it and put it together and bubble wrap it and insure it and all of that stuff. Man, I don't know anyone who knows how to do this more than my wife. Not even, I don't even know how to do this shit. My wife is a master at it. So I'm gonna be interviewing her as we're doing the, the, the workshop. What do you guys think? Is it worth it? Let me work it. And, and by the way, you're gonna be getting my, my resources. Okay, you're gonna be getting all the resources where, where I get everything, where I get everything from, from, from this packaging tape to the fragile stickers. I'm gonna include all the links in there so that you're, I'm not just gonna give you info. I'm gonna give you resources. I'm gonna tell you exactly how to do it and, and, and so that you're good. So that you're good, baby, you're good. You're covered with me. Uh, or you can learn this on your own, you know? Cool with me, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm A-OK. -okay. Here, let me get where's my. You can learn this on your own, and it's totally fine. Every time I touch my, every time I touch my my face, I get my hand sanitizer. I forgot about my hand sanitizer. Uh, so so. Uh, you can learn this on your. Hey, how's it going? How's it going, my friend? How's it going, Monty? Monty nine two six. This is stuff that no one else is teaching, guys. And if they're teaching it, I know that they're not teaching it fully. It's not full. You can go and try to find something on YouTube. And, oh, my God, yeah, I'll find it on YouTube. Look, you need to learn it from someone who's doing it. I'm not saying learn it from me. Okay? You don't have to learn it from me. But if, if, if you've seen me, blah, 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 you, you've seen what I'm doing, come check me out. But if you don't trust me, totally fine. But go learn it from someone who's doing it, guys. Don't learn it from someone who ships out one fucking painting every month. Learn it from someone who's actually has a working studio and they're popping out paintings and shipping them consistently and persistently. That's where you're gonna learn all those little things that are gonna save you tons of time and tons of money. Tons of time and tons of money. Yeah, that's what I said. By the way, people have been asking me also about, about certificate of authenticity. I made a little workshop, not a workshop, I made a little demo on, on YouTube. But people have been asking me for like a full workshop, like how to download the image, how to put it together, how to crop it and all. I'm not a big Photoshop guy, but I think I'm gonna do one. I'm gonna do one on Camtasia or something like that online. And, and I'll, make a, I'll make a video for that because I've gotten tons of emails about, about uh, the certificate of authenticity, um, where to have the design made. For those of you who are, are, are graphic designers, well, you know you can do it yourself, but there's people that don't know anything about that. And, and, and I can give you some sources, uh, how to have it done like, that, like quick, you don't have to, I don't know, sit on it forever. Thank you so much, Alicia, I really appreciate that. Alicia says, vast knowledge, little money, way crazy deal. Alicia's part of uh, my monthly subscription. Thank you, appreciate that. Jay says, not interested in reinventing the wheel, baby. Yeah, you know, why, why go and reinvent the wheel? No way, we don't need to. 
If you guys have any questions, you can put them right now. I'm, I'm like, I'm right here. <laughs> I'm like, I'm right here. <laughs> And, and like I said, we're gonna have tons, tons, tons of, of, of material. We're just getting started, guys. So those of you who have signed up, uh, just just bear with me. We're gonna be throwing videos in there, and and it's 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 just gonna be the best the best thing, man. It's the, it's the best thing I've done so far. And so the videos I'm gonna be throwing in there are going to be what what, what do people say off the hook. See, this is something one of my one of my uh, one of my assistants would be doing, but but I'm not afraid of I'm not afraid of labor, baby. I'm not afraid of work. I'll do it. I I, I started doing this and and so I have no problem doing it when I need to do it because I'm cool like that. Anyways, guys, if you guys have any questions or you guys want to find out more about it, more about that workshop, man, I threw one of those papers. Boom. Uh, make sure to make sure to DM me so that so that um, I can get back to you on that because we're making that workshop and it's going to be super juicy. I'm making all all kinds of workshops. I have this huge list, and we've been we've been recording. Uh, last night I recorded part of a workshop, and so we're getting ready to start dropping some crazy knowledge. So hang in there, baby. Hang in there, because we're gonna be dropping some some really cool stuff about about not just about sales, by the way, not just about marketing. You know, it, it, it's it's going to be a mix. It's going to be a very, very strong, healthy mix of topics that... I mean, we're going to be showing you how we do it here, you know? So it's going to be everything that we do here in our studio. Because that's how I do it. Hey, what's up, Lara? Um, Jay says, do you use only packaging tape or brown paper tape also? I use brown paper tape also, depending on where. Uh, so we're going to be showing you where, where we use the brown tape, uh, the brown paper tape, and, and how. Uh, because because everything ships out differently. For example, if you have a painting that's slightly, slightly uh, wet, which it happens, and you have to ship out. See, this is the shit no one tells you. Sometimes you have to ship out stuff that has little bubbles of wet stuff because you're, you're you're painting daily, especially if you're auctioning work, and you take a photograph and it's not quite dry yet. You either tell the person, "Hey, look, it's not quite dry," and the person's like, "I, dude, you need to send this out because it's a gift." There's you have to learn how to do that. You know, you have to learn how to how to create with cardboard how to create the painting i mean this is stuff that no one no one no one talks about because most people are like oh i would never do that because you're not doing it full time son that's why you would never do it when you're doing stuff full time you have to learn how to bend backwards a little bit and you have to mm, you have to pivot you know you have to move sides and, and you have to you have you have to figure it out you have to make it work especially when uh, interior designers when they buy paintings from me sometimes the 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 remodeling of the home or whatever it moves it moves ahead and you're like, oh shit, what do I do now? And they're like, dude, you gotta send this out now. Hold on, I just put a clear coat on my on my on my acrylic paintings, dude. You gotta send it now. Like this painting needed to be here tomorrow or yesterday. What the hell, you know? And 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 it's not your fault, but you're in business now, so you gotta put your 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 big boy, your big girl, your big person hat on, and you and you gotta make it work. Because you want to keep that interior designer happy, you want to keep that builder happy. Especially, I, I sold paintings to interior designers, uh, interior decorators, uh, corporate commissions to hotels and whatnot. And when we send out the paintings, many times it's not like it's not this this dream thing. Like, oh my God, it's so beautiful. Sometimes you gotta be you gotta be like that, and you gotta make it work. And so nobody talks about this because nobody's really doing it. It's very few people, and the people that are doing it, they're not talking about it like me. I'm here talking about it every day. Uh, 
Repion says, I watched yesterday one of your videos, how to get galleries, beg you for your art. And one question that I have is, how do you find the boutiques? I forget uh, the term for that type of gallery, but how? The boutique galleries, the, the boutique galleries are basically your mom and pop gallery. That's a great question, by the way. They're basically your mom and pop galleries. The way you find them, okay, is you start looking for artists that you admire, okay? You can do that on any 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 platform. You can either, either do it on, on Facebook, but artists that are out there, okay, that are doing stuff, that are exhibiting. Right now, it's a little harder because most people are not exhibiting right now. But it's going to get back to whatever normal is. And the way that you find them is that you start looking at what, what these artists are doing. Where are they exhibiting? And they're going to be showing you. They're just going to be showing you where, where their next exhibit is at. I mean, but look at working artists. Don't, don't look at your friend on Facebook who likes to paint and, and has a gallery show once a year. No. You got to be looking at artists that are actually showing, are constantly showing. That's one way of doing it. Uh, on, on Instagram, all you got to do is just hashtag Hashtag art gallery and you're gonna start filtering the difference between galleries that are like your big galleries uh, Your big shiny galleries and the small ones. You're gonna notice that the smaller galleries have stuff like uh, They have fine art, but they also have jewelry. They also they're more like they're more like shops They're more like like physical Etsy shops. They work that way. They're more like physical Etsy shops and and uh, another great source which is my it's the most obvious one. I don't know why I put it last. It's, it's, it should be the first one you should be looking at. It's Google. Just Google. Google art, art galleries. But if you're from Tucson, Arizona, like myself, Tucson, Arizona art galleries, boom, they're all going to come out. All you got to do is just start clicking. Is the website a very shiny gallery? Is it is is the artwork that they're carrying? Do they have a, do they have a, a I don't know, a Andy Warhol paintings in there? Then don't go there. Because it's going to be harder to get in there. Uh, or, or maybe try your luck. Why not? But but if they have like your local artists, people that you know, or, or other people, go there automatically. The, the boutique ones are the easier ones to get because they're looking for inventory. They're always looking for inventory. Why? Because they don't have that much money. So they're looking for inventory. The bigger ones, they don't have a problem with that because they get tons of artists, right? They're always getting tons of art. They're always rejecting artists. But the smaller ones are, look, are looking for inventory. And you want to have your artwork in as many places as possible. So I hope that this answer helps. Uh, very cool. Love the sneak peek of the seminar. Can't wait for the release. Thank you so much, Jay. Yeah, it's, re it's, it's very simple. It's just, it's, just a, it's just a little dive on Google. You know, and, and look for city. Look for city. Okay, don't go to like art galleries in California. You're, I mean, you're gonna you're gonna get overwhelmed. No, art galleries in LA. No, you're still gonna get overwhelmed. Art galleries in uh, I don't know the north side of the city or the south side or the east side of the city, whatever. Like like niche out in area and then consume that area. Don't don't go like like. Don't go broad because you're going to you're going to get overwhelmed. There's going to be thousands of listings, and and so pick up a small place, okay. Especially if you're doing the gallery thing. When we get back to some sort of normality, which we we eventually will, uh, pick a small place and drive up there and hit it. Hit every single one of those places with value proposition. Uh, send emails, follow up. But the best thing you can do is show up physically. Okay, go shake some hands when, as soon as we can shake hands. I don't know when that's going to happen again. But, but go and be in front of the people. Uh, and and, and, and it, the, the best visit you can do is a physical visit. The second best visit you can do is a phone call. Okay, phone call or video because video and phone call right now. But still phone call is very strong. It's, it's, it's probably most powerful because it's, 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 it's closest, right? Because it's real time unless you're doing video, real time video. But it's harder to get people to join real time video like what we're doing right now. The next best visit is phone call. The third best visit is a text. Believe it or not, it's a text. The fourth or fifth best visit is an email and that's the first one people do. Email is the last thing you want to do. Email is, a, is, email is not, a, not even a good follow up for that kind of stuff. It's the last type of follow up. The very first follow up should be a phone call. The second very best phone call follow up should be should be a, a, a DM on, on Instagram or a text. And then you can send some email stuff. 
let's see. Yeah, go go bump some elbows. Man, I get I get I get psyched about this stuff, man. Tenacity and focus research, man. I need a haircut. Look at this. People are not gonna think I'm muy guapo anymore. I'm gonna start bogeying. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, let's see. Uh, Rich Dog says, why don't you open your own gallery and we can post our art and charge everyone? Yeah, I thought about that one. Well, it, 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 it might be something out there. I, I wouldn't do a gallery, though. I, I, I do an online an online sales platform. I talked about this before, that I would want to sell other artists' work, either through eBay or, or some, some form like that. It's, it's, it's very profitable on everyone. And, and but you know you have to know how to do that. You can't just be like, oh, I'm gonna post stuff on eBay and see. Like you have to know how to do it. And, and I feel like I have the experience. I have enough experience to be able to carry other people's work. But it, but that that's still in the fire. That 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 metal, that iron is still in the fire. It's not. It's not. A, it hasn't become solid yet. It's still in the fire. So we'll see. Man, I hope I'm making some sense to, uh, uh, for you guys out there who are looking to to market and sell your work. Because it is it is not that difficult, my friends. It is not that difficult. It just takes a little bit of thinking outside. Here, let me. I gotta go check on my kid. Give me a second, all right? Hey, what's up, Dan? Yeah, what you doing and stuff? Nothing. Cool. Okay. Checking out my kids. He's not screaming when he's not screaming on Xbox. You know? He probably uh probably got upset and with one of his friends and 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 I'm playing with uh he's probably playing with his uh, phone. They go and start watching TikTok or YouTube videos. What do you do? It's part of it, no? Uh, Jay says, thank you, Jose, for all of this. Your free content is what most people pay um, $1,000 for. Thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, yeah. It's... It's, uh, it's a pleasure for me to be able to share this because I know that I know that we need to help each other out and and I know that people are not sharing this type of stuff like I know that for a fact people are not sharing this type of stuff the ones that are do that do share it um, it's not it's not the full picture and I, and I know someone else out there may be doing it but I know I know they're not doing it at this level I know that and the reason why a lot of people don't know about me is because my material, not, it's, not, it's not because my material is not good, guys. It's because I haven't done a good job at marketing myself, like on Instagram or that kind of stuff, because that's not what I did. I barely started doing this type of deal, like sharing the stuff, you know, creating a platform to share the stuff. I'm an artist. Like I see cats out there. They're always talking about this, this kind of shit. They're like, yeah painting and blah 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 and you notice their studios they don't have any work they don't they hardly ever create any work i know this one cat here on instagram he's always talking about about marketing and selling and and, and when i took a peek at his studio i was like dude this dude's not dude this dude doesn't produce work this dude is a marketer he doesn't even produce work i mean he does produce work but not at a level that that it's constantly get thrown out into the world it's very little it's very little work and I believe that if, if, if you're producing very little work, whatever that is, whether it's, uh, I don't know, prints, paintings, or whatever, you don't have, you, you don't really have that nailed yet. You're, 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 you're more on the marketing side, you know, more on the blah, blah, blah side than the actual physical stuff. I, it, took, it took me five years before I started talking about any of this. I was a full-time artist for five years before I, before I even did a, a YouTube video. Most people are like, oh, I saw you when you, when you started out, uh, you know, when you were first starting out as an artist. No, uh when I first, like, people, people say that because they watch me on YouTube. I'm like, no, I, I was a full-time artist. I was, I was already earning about half a milli a year selling artwork before I started doing this stuff. 
I was a full-time artist. I was like batting every single day. And so I, the only reason I started talking about this stuff is because people started asking me, people that knew me. And then some friends were like, dude, you gotta, be, you gotta start recording this stuff. You gotta start talking about it. I'm like, you think so? You think other people care? And they're like, yeah, they would care. And so I'm not a YouTuber. I'm not an Instagram influencer. I'm not, I'm not one of those things. I'm a working artist. I, I'm a stone cold, stone cold fucking working artist. Like I show up every day, boom, boom, and I and I keep on working. And the stuff that works, I record it, I type it up, I do videos, and I share it with other people. That's all I'm doing. Okay, I'm not your marketer. I'm not your hey, click here, and I may get to that point some at some point in my life. But if you guys notice. When I tell you, hey, do you want this info? I'll send you the link. It's because I don't have systems like that. Because I, that's not what I do. That's something else that I'm doing. You know, that's something else that I'm doing. I'm not, I'm not doing that first. I'm painting first and then marketing and talking about what I'm doing. So I'm not marketing first and then, and then painting on the side. There was this chick also in California. She's always talking about art. Uh, not, not, not to talk shit, guys, but... but I, I never see them painting, so I'm always confused. I'm like, what are you teaching people if you're never creating artwork? Just call it what it is. Say, I, I'm a, a professional marketer, and I think I can help you sell your art, but don't say I'm an artist, and I sell my work, and I can help you, and I can teach you. I see so much of that bullshit. It's not true. It's not true. They don't even understand the mechanics of actually waking up every day and being like, dude, I don't feel like creating shit today. I don't feel like making any art, but I'm gonna. Because I'm an artist. Because that goes first. I'm an artist. And then I'll market. But first, I have to create. And the mechanics of that, most people don't get them because they don't, they don't produce enough work to understand what the mechanics of that actually, what, what's the dynamic of that. Of the days that you wake up and you're like, dude, I don't feel like doing anything. I don't have any ideas. Too bad. Boo-hoo. Go paint something. Either It doesn't matter. Because that's how I make my living. From painting, not from marketing. And so... Anyways, I'll leave you guys with that. My name is Jose Trujillo. If you guys want more of this, uh, share it. I mean, guys, it's... I don't know. I'm baffled. I'm baffled at, at how much of this I'm sharing out there. And, and I don't see artists really sharing the info. Like, if you don't share with your friends, guys, I'm going to share it with your friends. I want people to find out. How about those hot girls? <laughs> hey, no shame. No shame on the hustle, primo. No, hate, no shame on the hustle. Let, 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 uh, let, 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 let them work out their beauty. <laughs> Whatever the hustle is. It's a, it's a no shame, it's a, it's a no shame table, primo. Man, yeah, I tell you guys, I found, I found a cuz here on, on Instagram. I think we're, we're, we're cousins. We're coming to the conclusion that we may be cousins. All right, guys. Take care. I'll talk to you guys later. If you guys want to find out more about this, you guys can always DM me, contact me, and we'll make it work. All right? Peace out. Take care. Adios.